Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for the 23rd, 24th, so Sunday into Monday. We're just going to see what comes up. This may not resonate with you. Well, we have the Empress reversed. So, there could be a lack of self-worth. Somebody may have not be feeling, you know, up to par. You could be feeling smothered at this time. Maybe there's some pain that needs to be dealt with. Okay, hasn't been dealt with yet. Somebody is lacking self-worth. I mean, that's what this is. Oh, holding on to something, death reversed. So, and it's getting old, and you have to deal with it. You have to release it. You've got to have that birth, right? You know, you've got to let go. Something needs to be released, and it's not. It hasn't been. So, somebody is holding on to something that is really over, but not letting it be released. interference now this is this right here this is the eight of swords yeah there is some interference isn't there Interve interference in your mind interference in your heart right I mean that's what it is Trying to fly, trying to be free, but there's obstacles in the way. Adjustment. I believe that this is the strength card. Yeah, things are a little upside down, aren't they? It's like you've, you've fallen down a notch or two, right? Depression. This is the Ten of Wands. Reversed. Needing to make a conscious change. Release some baggage. Come on now. It needs to be released. It's smothering you. Holding on to this obstacle that it's just it's turn it's it's holding you back you need to find the strength to let something go for real you need to free yourself fly right through those obstacles you're bigger and better just just do it happiness yeah This is the Six of Cups. Remember when you used to be happy. There's still an opportunity to find that again. This is the Four of Cups reversed, right? 
Oh, the Two of Cups. Wonderful. The Fool reversed. And the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Let me get this focused in. So somebody has become ungrounded, okay, letting their thoughts affect their ability to have a fresh start in love. The same story, kind of, for some of you. You know, there's an opportunity for a partnership here with that Two of Cups. But you see this 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 eight of swords right above it. There's uh, there's an obstacle in the way from allowing this partnership to grow. There's an obstacle in the way from allowing somebody to accept an offer. A lot of memories have resurfaced, or they are resurfacing, or you actually need to believe in love again. Maybe you've given up on love. You know, you don't, you don't feel worthy or you don't feel lovable because you're still holding on to something. I mean, that death card reverse is holding on to something that's a dead end. It's a dead end. It's over. But refusing to let it go, refusing to transition. And it's causing interference in having a, a beautiful relationship. It really is. So somebody has not found the strength, and they need to. They do need to find the strength. You know, somebody has um, been taken advantage of in the past. And you have to release. You have to make it. You have to be willing to release those feelings of lack because you were rejected or whatever the case is. I mean, with this, this is the strength card reversed, okay? It's uh, ego, pride, okay? It is. It's the, the pride has been hurt. The ego has been hurt. And you have to find that strength within you to let go of that. Let go of your pride. Let go of your ego. Let go of your fears, let go of your thoughts that you aren't good enough just because the other person didn't see your worth doesn't mean you're not worthy. And I feel like somebody has, has really um, went through some sort of, well, oppression. I mean, if you take a look at this, because they feel like they're not worthy. But the fact of the matter is, is you really are worthy. But when the pride gets hurt to that point, that's what happens. You have to find the strength to rise above it. You do. There's an opportunity for happiness. There is. There is an opportunity for happiness. If you can remember what love is supposed to be. I mean, what is love? Love is communication. Love is giving. Love is kindness. Love is is opening up love is is um offering without hesitation you know love is is free you know it's it's trusting it's caring it's not holding back you know you got to remember what love is and if you can't if you can't remember what love is because you know you've been through some sort of oppression or you know, there's been a lot of um, discontent. If you can't remember what it is, then you need to go back. Go all the way back to your childhood when there was innocence. Okay? Before you even knew what love is. And, and actually remember, like, what your first love felt like. You know? Go back and think about that for a minute. Because that's what love is supposed to be like. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to start out with butterflies. It's supposed to start out with happiness. It's supposed to start out with you know it's supposed to be sweet. It's supposed to be fun. Um 
it's supposed to be harmonious, exciting. So I feel as though, you know, at this point, somebody is, is really, their lack of self-worth and self-respect and self-esteem, okay? There's lack of self-worth and, and there's lack of self-esteem is causing an obstacle or interference in having a new relationship or, or letting a, or, or causing a, a relationship to struggle. There's an opportunity for a fresh start, but it can't happen if you don't find the strength to to let go, to, to transition out of this thinking, this, this mode of unworthiness, okay? You have to transition out of that mode and stop hanging on to a dead-end situation just because it's comfortable, right? It's comfortable. If you stay in a situation that is uncomfortable and you know that you don't want to be there, You definitely don't know your worth. And the reason somebody is holding on is because of the memories that they had with somebody. That's why. That's why somebody's holding on because of the memories. But don't don't forget. I mean, if you go back to that relationship, the beginning of that relationship that you had with this person that you're holding on to. You can make new memories and they'll be just as happy. They'll be just as good. It's happened time and time again, right? So there's an opportunity to make new memories. If you can, if you can face the adversity, if you can, if you can fly through the obstacles and let somebody love you, Somebody is refusing to come out, come out of their shell. I mean, it's time. You know, it, it really is. These are both reverse. It's time. They're both reverse. It's time to have your new life. Why, why can't you just crack, crack that? Crack right through that shell. Birth. Ha Come on. Deliver. Face the pain. Feel the pain. Accept the pain so that they can deliver the miracle that you've been waiting for. And you have to have the strength to face the pain. That's all there is to it. This is this right here. Okay, we have this 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 Queen of Pentacles. It says Mother of Earth reversed. Hot headed, stubborn, ungrounded, not being practical. Somebody is not making a wise decision by stubbornly holding on to something that is dead. You have to free yourself with the Ten of Wands reversed. You have to. Your balance awaits, but you have to find a way out of it. And that is going to mean that you are going to have to find the strength to let go of something. For real. 
so you know I feel like what's going on at this point is there's an opportunity for a partnership with this two of cups upright there's an opportunity for love but the memories of the past the six of cups this is memories of the past are holding someone back from true happiness you have to stop being stubborn you have to come back to reality you have to deal with the pain and, and accept your new path there's an opportunity to make more beautiful memories with this new opportunity that's waiting for you to accept it I don't know who this reading is for. Mystic Healer. Healing energy flows through you. Inner and outer healing on all levels is occurring in your life. A situation, relationship, or physical challenge is being resolved. Have faith that it's happening. This is the time to find the source of challenges. Transform inner grievances. Do it now. You no longer need to carry it with you. You don't. You don't. You are a healing force for others, even if you're not aware of it. And somebody's definitely not aware of it, okay? There are times when the traveler steps off the path to search for the mystic healer. The healer instructs that everything in the, in the nature has the in, intrinsic ability to restore itself and reminds you that you also have this powerful ability within you. For healing to occur on the outside, it's essential for healing to occur on the inner planes. planes. To do this, meditate by visualizing a beautiful, vital future for yourself and trust that recovery is on the way. Past life issues may be emerging in order to be released. Oh, jeez. Um, okay. Mystic healers are working with you to resolve emotional and physical challenges. Be patient and have faith that beneath the surface all is well. Everything that is happening at this time is happening to help you to finally release and get back to the love that you deserve. So feel it, deal with it, and deliver it, okay? Get rid of it, get rid of it. Because there's an opportunity for a partnership here that is, isn't, it can't grow until you deal with this interference. And now I'm going to do the monthlies for October. Stay tuned. <laughs>